here's where I want to start this. In 2010 alone, the CDC found that over 15,000 people died from unintentional prescription pharmaceutical drug overdose. Unintentional, which means that some of them were not clear about how they should be taking their medications. Now, certainly some of these cases result from prescription drug abuse, but the FDA's own website says that the readability of the labels is a major problem, particularly for older Americans. Ten years ago, the FDA required over-the-counter medications to, to contain a consumer-friendly label for exactly this reason, but still there's nothing in place for prescription drugs, which are significantly more dangerous. So, Dr. Woodcock, we have, so far as I know, only the one study from 2010, but is there anything particularly unusual about 2010, or is it fair to assume that thousands and thousands of people die every year from unintentional drug overdoses? I think that's fair. I don't think we know the exact numbers, but it's fair to assume that. Fair to assume. Okay. Is it safe to assume that better information would have saved some of those people? That's very likely. All right. So when does the FDA plan to use its regulatory authority to implement effective standardized patient information for prescription drugs? Well, we've tried, as I said in my oral testimony, multiple times and have been thwarted, but we plan to engage in rulemaking uh, soon and try again to establish a patient leaflet that would be dispensed with every prescription given to a patient in the United States. So I, I'm glad to hear that, that you want to aim in that direction, but this, I really am asking a when question. What's your timeline for when we're going to get these identifications, this information into the hands of consumers? Well, uh, putting in place regulations is time consuming and yes. that's frustrating. Uh, so it usually takes a number of years for us to get a regulation in place if we are successful. And as you probably read, we've tried multiple times to do this and have been thwarted in our effort. So, we plan to try again. We've done quite a bit of research. We think it's necessary. Other countries have this, and we think it'd be very desirable for the patients. So, Dr. Woodcock, I actually remember, I actually worked at one of these regulatory agencies and got this process started. So, so let me ask it in smaller pieces. When are you starting the regulatory process? When are you going to put it in place? We've had a Part 15 hearing. We've done a lot of research. You know, we have to have a lot of uh, supporting information and documentation when we do a, put a rule forward. So I can't tell you when FDA will put that rule forward, but that's what we plan well, is, to do. Is the, is the, I don't want to hear the plan that you're going to start this. Is the plan, have you already started? Yeah, we started the rule writing the rulemaking, but we, what, it depends what you mean by the rule. We haven't proposed a rule. No, there's no proposed rule out there. So when do you plan to do that? Uh, as quickly as we can. So you're telling me that this is going to be a real priority for the FDA and that you're going to get this rule through. It, look, maybe I should ask this another way. What's the fastest you've ever gotten a rule through? A few interim final rules on safety issues, what well, uh, Congress told us to do it. We got it in place maybe in six months. So it can be done in six months if it involves safety. And congressional direction. Those Most of those had congressional direction uh, that we do it. Did the congressional direction give you new authorities you didn't otherwise have? Sometimes, in some cases. Okay, but but not in all cases. So you have the authority to get the rules done. Well, with most regulations, our authority is always in question, as you know, and so that's one of the issues that goes happens in rulemaking is questioning whether the agency has the authority. We regulate manufacturers, all right, and so one of the issues is can the uh, pharmacies be required to give out this information? So you, are you saying you have some doubt about whether or not giving patients information that is effective about how they should take their medications is within the scope of the authority of the FDA? I would say that certain parties would express doubt about that. Well, I understand that's expressed. what litigation is about, that's but right. I also understand that the rulemaking process can go forward. Right. So, we regulate uh, manufacturers. We do not regulate the practice of pharmacy. I, I understand that. I understand that. But this is a 
this is a question about getting the information out, safety to right. the patients. That was right. And you did this for over-the-counter drugs. When we regulate those directly, the manufacturers put that on the label. Yes, yes so we did do that. Good. So I, I just want to say on this one, Mr. Chairman, and, and to all of you, and particularly to the FDA, that if the FDA can't commit to get this done in a reasonable time, then it's time for Congress to act. We're talking about a fundamental safety issue here. And it seems to me that's the judgment call we're going to have to make here. Uh, the FDA's had a long time to do this, and a lot of people who've died in the meantime. Um, it's time for us to do something. 